If you create digital products, then you know that the product images are a crucial part of your marketing. You can bring your products to life using Canva to make realistic mockups. And in this video, you're gonna learn how to do that. Let's get into it. All right, here are some designs that I've created for the Canva library. Now let's imagine that I wanna turn this into a digital product. So what I would do is download all of these designs by going up to share and download. And then I would create a new design with the dimensions for whatever marketplace that I'm going to be adding these for sale. With this new design open, I'm going to upload all of the designs that I've just created. And now I can start spreading these out on the canvas here and resizing everything so that it fits really nicely. So we're gonna use our tidy up in just a second. So I'm just gonna kind of place these. I like to have them kind of spread out so that there's a good mix of colors that they're not too heavy on one side. So I might go like on the bottom, mix it up since I know there's this like darker black one here. So I'm just gonna make sure everything looks the way I want it to by selecting all four of them on the top, going up to position, and then I'm going to do tidy up right here. So everything was already pretty much good to go. So it didn't have to do much work there. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm just going to use the guides that are kind of already in place from what we made up on that top row. All right. So we've got everything in there and I'm just going to resize this now, bring it down and center everything. And that looks pretty good, but I would like for there to be a little bit more space between these. So I'm going to start spacing things out and we'll use our position tidy up. The reason that I wanted there to be a little bit more space is because I know that I'm gonna be using shadows here. Some of them, the distance is gonna be further away from the image. Some of it's gonna be right up on it. So I want there to be enough room for the shadows that we're about to add. So let's do that now. We're gonna use this first image as an example. We'll select that and go up to this top toolbar and click on edit photo. And we're looking for shadows right here under effects. So let's click on that and we're gonna do drop shadow. So I'm actually going to imagine that the light is hitting from the top right, which means that the shadows will show up on the left hand side. So I'm gonna change the angle so that it looks like that. And then maybe I'll adjust the blur amount, the intensity. I'm trying to just find realistic looking shadows here. All right, so that looks Pretty good. So once I have a shadow that I know that I like, I can select that image and come up to the top toolbar and click on copy style, this paint roller right here. So now it's loaded. You can see that it's gone solid. That means that our paint roller is loaded and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that over here. I'll paste that on this one and we'll do these bottom two middle ones right here. I didn't do the other ones because that's where I'm gonna use a more realistic looking shadow that's further away from our image. So to get there, we're gonna go over to the elements tab over here in the object panel. And I know that I want black square shadow. So I'm gonna search for that. So this is the one that we're looking for right here. We'll pull that into our design and start resizing it. And we're gonna go up to that top toolbar and position it. Go to the layers tab and let's make sure that it's underneath the layer that we want. So something like that looks pretty good. And I'm actually gonna bring these all the way up so that our shadow is kind of like casting a shadow right on top of those other designs. And it's a little bit thick, a little bit heavy, so I'm gonna bring down the transparency just slightly. Something like that looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna duplicate that layer by holding down Alt or Option, and I'm just gonna drag it so that we can bring it over here behind this image and we'll position this behind that one. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this bottom right image here. All right, so that looks pretty good, but we're not done yet. What I like to do is add a little bit of texture to our background. So I'm going to go over to the elements tab and let's search for overlay. You know, I'm gonna use a pro element here, but there's a lot of other free ones that you can use. You're just looking for something like this with a little bit of texture that you can add to the background. So I'm gonna choose this one right here and I'm going to rotate it and then I'm going to set image as background. Now I do want the ability to change the color of the background, even though I want that texture there, as you can see, it's looking pretty nice. 
So I'm gonna select that layer and go up to the top toolbar and bring the transparency down just a touch. You know, it doesn't have to be much, even 98 degrees or something like that. Nick Lachey in the building. And with that selected, now we can change the background color. So I'm gonna go over here to our color picker and I'll change the background to something like this. So if I zoom in, you can still see we're at 300%, so it's gonna look a little bit pixelated on that background, but at 100%, it's just the right amount of texture here. So that's looking pretty good. And now what we wanna do is because we have those shadows that are being cast from the top right to the bottom left, I'd like for there to be some shadows on top of our designs. So we can do that again by going back to the Elements tab and we'll search for Windows Shadow. So we're trying to imagine that there's light being cast through a window, so it could be blinds or even just the panes of glass. So any one of these, again, there's gonna be some free ones that are mixed in here along with the Pro. So I'm just gonna grab something like this here and I'm gonna flip that like this and I'll resize it. So it takes up the whole canvas. And I just want something real subtle like this. So that looks pretty good. And then again, you can just adjust the transparency as need be. So it's a really subtle touch, but it's just enough to make a difference. It makes it feel more realistic as if these were like laid out or if these were printed on stationary and laid out in front of you on your desk. So if you don't wanna go through all that, you don't have to. You can just use the mock-up app within Canva and I'll show you how to do that now. So let's go back to the homepage here and let's search for Instagram grid. And we're looking for the one made by Canva right over here. So I'm gonna click this one and we'll open this up. And I don't need all of these right here. So I'm just gonna delete most of them. And then I'm gonna resize this while holding down shift to make sure that we keep the dimensions square. All right, so that looks pretty good. And now we can bring in one of our images. So we'll just go back over here to our uploads and let's find one of our designs like this one right here. We'll just drag that in. And now we're ready to download this. So if you don't want to download it, there is a workaround. We'll go over to share and click on copy to clipboard. If you don't see that here, it's probably gonna be under these three dots that says more, so you would click there, and then you're gonna find copy to clipboard there. So let's do that now, copy to clipboard. All right, so now you can see that it has been copied. And what we can do is come back over to our portfolio here. Let's open up a new page, and I'm gonna go over to the elements tab on the left-hand side and search the apps tab for mock-up. So we've got mock-ups right here and we're looking for this icon. So let's open that up and we're looking for smartphones because we're going to imagine that this is an Instagram post. We're trying to feature these new social media templates that we have available. So let's just go ahead and open up this one right here. And remember, we've just copied our design, right? So now we're able to paste that in. We can just use the keyboard shortcut command V and it's going to paste in our design. And then all we have to do is drag it over top of the mock-up and Canva's gonna start loading, it's processing, and bam, it's now been added to our design. If you wanna tweak it further, then you can by selecting on this and you could say, I want that to fill the entire image. You can see it kind of gets cut off, but so I'm just gonna leave it at fit for right now. All right, so let's just do one more and let's say we wanna do like a close-up. So maybe something like this one here and now we'll paste in again and we'll just drag it to the right hand side of our design and boom, it's looking pretty good, right? All right, I have one final tip for you. You may have noticed that when we selected this design here and we clicked on fill, that the sides are getting cut off. And that's because with these vertical phone images, you really want a different dimension than your standard 1080 by 1920. So what we're gonna do is resize this design right here. So let's go to custom size. And we're gonna do 1125 by 2436. And I'm just gonna resize this design so it doesn't open up a new tab. All right, so we've got the right dimensions and we'll do the share copy to clipboard thing all over again. And if we jump back to our portfolio and paste that in here, now if we go ahead and drag that into the design, you can see it fills the entire frame of the phone. 
and it looks much, much better. That's it for today. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips like this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.